Good afternoon, sir. This is a new one. Step on a car for me. The reason I stopped you, you're all over the road today. Where are you coming from today? All right, come back. Easy, easy. Watch yourself there. You been drinking a little bit today? Yeah, a little bit. You coming from the turkey farm today? Just a little bit. You drinking wild turkey today? Yeah. Can we can we uh, can we walk up here in front of your car here? Let's talk up here. <coughs> easy, easy. All right, easy, easy. I'm gonna have you take some tests here for me today. I want to take the. The head off there, does that come off you today or are we going to leave that on for now? All right, first of all, let's let's do, step step out in front of the car for me here, okay? What I want you to do is, easy, easy, what I want you to do is stand, I want you to take the tip of your wing and touch the tip of your beak for me. Tip of your wing, touch the tip of your beak. Close, give it another try, give it another try. All right, let's use the other tip of your wing. The other tip of your wing, touch the tip of your beak. Close. All right, step back out here for me. I'm gonna have you pick up your turkey leg. Now I want you to pick it up six inches off the ground there for me. Count to 30 seconds for me. Can you do that for me? 1,001, 1,002. Keep going for me. Keep your turkey leg up there. 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. Easy. All right, next one I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you do a walk a straight line for me. You think we can do that? No, don't fly a straight line. I'm just going to have you walk a straight line. I'm going to have you walk a straight line right here for me. Let me demonstrate it for you, okay? I'm going to have you take nine steps for me. Understand? All right. You're going to go uh, turkey leg to turkey leg. Nine steps for me. Counting them out loud. When you hit nine steps, I'm going to have you pivot on your turkey leg and walk back nine steps. Do you understand that? All right. Go ahead and do that for me. Please don't gobble during the test. Okay, now nine steps back there for me. Okay, okay, easy, easy. Mr. Turkey, I think you've had too much to drink today. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna place you under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol today. Hands behind your wings there for me. Back to my squad car. Rice County Mod Squad, together with Port Zero Deaths Safe Roads Coalition, over the limit, under arrest. If you're out getting wasted while your turkey's being basted, don't. Please don't drive. Call for a sober ride. We now I introduce Lieutenant Heath Dinger of the Minnesota State Patrol. Through the hard work of the Mod Squad, Tort Zero Death Co Coalition, and the Rice County Safe Communities, Rice County is no longer listed as one of the top 13 deadliest counties in the state of Minnesota. Despite the success of the cooperative efforts, we will continue, excuse me, despite the success of the cooperative efforts, we still owe to the residents of Rice County and the state of Minnesota to work hard each day to continue to reduce the number of deaths on our roadways. This holiday season, as our friends and families come together, the Mod Squad Toward Zero Death Coalition and Rice County Community Safe Communities will continue the cooperative efforts to increase the DWI patrols. We will have increased DWI patrols and efforts that will be aggressively seeking impaired drivers. Each year, around 30,000 motorists are arrested for DWI within the state of Minnesota. In the past five years, we have seen 651 deaths within the state of Minnesota of impaired drivers. 
in 2011, the average DWI arrest uh, limit for breath content, alcohol content, was 0.155. You may ask what you can do to stay safe out there. Each one of our holiday parties is planned down to what meal each individual will bring for the party. One of the things we should bring or plan for as well is a safe ride home. Whether it be designating a sober driver, utilizing a cab, using public transportation, or staying at the location of the celebration. If you're able to offer a safe ride home, please do so. Also, during Thanksgiving, please remember to continue buckling up. 74% of impaired drivers who were drinking and killed were not wearing their seatbelts. Furthermore, wearing your seatbelt is the best defense against an impaired driver. I hope everyone does plan a safe holiday. This Thanksgiving, we're making plans. If you're going to be out drinking, make sure you're making plans for a safe ride home. We're starting a sober cab program here in Faribault starting this weekend. You will be able to get a ride home from the establishment if you drink too much. But also think about a $5 ride home is a lot less expensive than a $2,000 cost that you might have if you're stopped and if you receive a DWI. So please, drive safely. Drive sober and make sure you help your friends get home safely for the holidays. Happy Thanksgiving.